Hey YouTube, this is Comet back again with another Meta Hero video. Thanks for clicking on my video, and for all my new viewers, heads up, I am not a financial advisor, so please do your own research before making any investments. I was originally going to wait to make another Meta Hero video closer to the Blockchain Summit in Dubai on October 17th to the 20th. However, after uploading my last video, I realized I made a critical error. Mistakes were made, and I want to truly apologize. So if you watch my last video, which I'm going to link above, because actually most of it still does make sense, but there was a part in that video where I was calculating how to get to a dollar with the burn. So as we all know, there is no more 5% transaction fee. That ended a few weeks ago, and I did know about that, but it slipped my mind. I made an entire video, then of course I uploaded it, and within seconds, people were upset. I apologize, I did make a mistake and I realized the error afterwards, I already uploaded it. But for the most part, the video is 100% accurate, minus the burn. So what I'm gonna do really quickly, I'm gonna show the updated math without the burn, which I did show in the first part of that, but I said it was hypothetically without the burn. It's not hypothetical. There is no burn. Whether there's gonna be a burn in the future, I do not know. Whether it be manual or per transaction, as of right now, there is no 5% transaction fee, which removes that 1% burn. So I'm going to show you the math on this real quick, which most of you probably already know. Then afterwards, we're going to talk about the price, holder count, and my price prediction after the events of the blockchain summit unfold. So here's the original Excel sheet that I showed you guys, and I was doing the math off there. So it was on a 10 year projection, and then I was using the numbers below using the average 24 hour volume with 1% burn and then multiplying that by 365 for the year. So since there is no burn, we do not need this anymore. So we're gonna delete all that. And then I also had a 10 year projection. So since we're not burning, I'm not gonna do the 10 year projection, but I'm just gonna leave the numbers there for now. And I am going to start moving the price point. So yesterday we were sitting at 0.14, but I believe we're at the 0.17 mark. So I'm gonna adjust that right now to reflect what the current price is on row number one. Okay, so the current price is 0 0.1748, which is kind of weird. It's higher than it's higher than the year two projection that I had with the 1% burn and with the billion dollar market cap. So we are actually moving a lot of volume, but I'm gonna get into that after this. Let's finish this up real quick and then I'll move over to that. Okay, and so the circulating supply is gonna be a constant because there is no burn. So we're gonna change all these to the 5.7 billion. And next, I'm going to put my hypotheticals here. So what I'm going to do for row number two is I'm going to start at 20 cents. And then from every row after that, I'm going to go in 10 cent increments. So now we also have to adjust the market cap because this was from yesterday's price and it is now over 1 billion. So now we know with the circulating supply of over 5.7 billion at a current market cap of a little over 1 billion, we're at 17 cents. So that's the math behind it. So what I'm going to do now is using the circulating supply that's a constant and in intervals of 10 cents, we'll see what the market cap has to be for us to reach this dollar mark. So as you can see in the formula above, circulating supply times price equals the market cap. So we will put in circulating supply times price we want equals what market cap we need for that price. So at 20 cents, we'll need 1 billion, 150 million and some change to get us at 20 cents. So let me put this formula in for the rest of them and we'll go from there. So I just entered the formula and here we are. I'm gonna skip 30 cents through 90 cents and go straight for the dollar. So for us to achieve a dollar, we need just over a 5.7 billion market cap. Now, like I said in yesterday's video, do I think it's attainable? I really do think that we can do this. And I did make a quick comparison to Shiba Inu. I, I, know, I know that wasn't fair to this project or that project, but any token that has really no use case, that has a little over 11 billion market cap, gains my respect and it makes me optimistic for projects just like this. A project like MetaHero has a mind-blowing use case and I see absolutely no reason why we can't blow past that 5.7 billion mark. Now in comparison again, the market cap that we need is a little over 5.7 billion to achieve that $1 mark. Shiba Inu is sitting just over 11 billion market cap and still going strong with no use case. Okay, so enough of the numbers. Like I said, I wanted to clarify this I really, truly do apologize. I put that out yesterday and I just, like I said, it just slipped my mind. I kind of forgot all about the fee because I bought Meta Hero a month and a half ago and I've never touched it. I think I made two videos on it and that was it. I never really check in on it because I was never worried about it, which I think is a good testament for any good project. You buy it, you put it in your wallet and you forget about it, you come back. But since the price has been soaring, I wanted to come back, touch base on the project, made that video and made a small error. But anyway, Let's move on. Okay, so for all you haters out there, 
Since yesterday, MetaHero went from about 14 cents to almost 17 and a half cents just because of my video. All right, I'm just joking. Don't stroke out. I don't need any more hate. I don't need any more hate in my messages. And I'm sure Gray Adam 66 is going to dislike my video like he always does. Caught him on camera last night during our live feed. The current market cap is up to 1 billion from just over 800 million yesterday. Now the 24 hour volume is almost even down a hair, but the day's not over yet. And currently we're sitting at 86,734 holders, which we are up a little bit. I'm not sure what yesterday's number was. I think it was in the low 86,000s, but, but I'm not gonna split hairs. We're up, that's a win. So now let's talk about the blockchain summit a little bit and why this is so important for MetaHero. So one of the obvious reasons would be exposure. You know, the more people that know about your project, the better. But that's on a micro level. So not to downplay the positive momentum that that would bring. The bigger question is, will MetaHero be listed on Binance Exchange? Now, everything leading up to this point puts us in a position to be listed on a tier one exchange, which just opens a door for mass adoption on a scale we haven't even seen yet with this project. Now that doesn't necessarily have to happen at the summit, but once it does, this project is gonna absolutely explode. Now, I didn't go into the detail about what this project's all about. I figured if you watch this far, you already know what MetaHero is, but if you don't, check out the link above. It's my original MetaHero video, which has a cool ass thumbnail with Thanos. Check it out. So that all leads me to my final point. What do I think is going to happen with MetaHero? What do I think the price is going to be? Let's go short term. When I was on live with Grey Adam 66 doing our Tuesday live stream, that I thought MetaHero is going to go between 20 and 23 cents. But honestly, we were already at 17 cents right now. I'm pretty bullish on MetaHero, and I'm over the next two or three days here, we're going to be at 20 cents. So back to my graph one more time. I think we're going to be between 30 and 40 cents by the time that summit's over. I think our market cap is going to go over on that 2 billion mark. And if I'm wrong, in a few months, we're going to hit that market cap anyway. But maybe I'm wrong the other way. Maybe we get into that 2.3, 2.5 billion market cap area. Well, then I'll be pleasantly surprised and I'll be happily wrong. Well, anyway, that about wraps it up. I want to truly thank you for watching this video. And again, I do apologize for that mishap yesterday. I just wasn't thinking. But please, before you go, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, and punch that notification bell. It means a lot to me. I'm trying to get to that 1,000 subscriber mark. Hopefully, I hit it within the next week or so, and then I'll start doing videos a little bit more frequently. I'd like to put out a lot more Meta Hero content. I believe in the project. I think it's amazing. I think the developers are phenomenal, and I definitely would love your support as a community. Okay, gang, that's all I got. Take care and have a blessed day.